The Jerusalem prayer team established nearly 20 years ago with a reported nearly 77 million followers on Facebook saw it suddenly shut down. Mike Evans tells CBN News an anti-Semitic campaign of hate targeted the Facebook page. An organized Islamic campaign coming out of Pakistan, Indonesia and Turkey targeted our site with over one million comments. So Facebook, rather than contact Bible believers and find out the truth, they responded to radical Islamic 911 would-bes and pulled us down. The cyber campaign happened in the middle of the team's prayer time during the conflict between Hamas and Israel. We've been praying for peace. We've been praying for God to protect Israel. We've been praying for peace in Jerusalem. We've been praying for a blessing over the Jewish people, protection over the Jewish people. We've been praying for protection over Arab Israelis. The attack campaign was twofold. First came the negative Facebook comments. People coming from anti-Semitic groups calling for for a second Holocaust, people attacking us personally, people making threats upon us personally. Second, the hackers spread a false narrative that Facebook created the page during the conflict and then had people like the page without their consent. Dozens of videos with thousands of views across social platforms celebrated the news that the prayer team's page was down. Al Jazeera also reported on the situation. I'm incredibly disappointed right now, basically, that, that instead of these anti-Semitic people who are attacking Christians for praying for peace in Jerusalem, for praying for peace, uh, an end of the bloodshed, and instead of stopping those anti-Semitic attacks against us, Facebook has shut our page down. The Jerusalem prayer team is appealing the decision, and Evans has enlisted the help of U.S. and Israeli leaders. CBN News reached out to Facebook, and they provided us with this statement. We removed Jerusalem prayer team's Facebook page for violating our rules against spam and inauthentic behavior. My prayer right now is that Facebook would, would start to act with, hopefully, integrity on the situation and, and restore our, our, our prayers. You know, in this era, the fact that your prayers could be canceled on the internet is uh, an unimaginable thing. Evans came to Israel to report from the front lines of the conflict as part of a television special that includes many Christian leaders. But it's to bring solidarity for the state of Israel and to oppose the lies to the evangelicals of the world. Evans sees the special as an effort to win the media war and counter what he says is the mainstream media believing the lies of radical Islam. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.